Did you know that in 2020, over 70% of complaints against police involved dishonesty? Let's check if this encounter with the LAPD confirms that. Kelly called the LAPD after calling several other departments that might be responsible for the block sidewalk. But before we jump in, I want to say that Kelly, Chris, and Henry did a great job of getting as much information as possible, even if some of it was stupid. Two LAPD officers arrived and waited comfortably in their car. Kelly literally had to ask them to get out. Um, who are you? I'm Officer Vidania. Vidania, yeah. cool. Uh, oh, serial, let's just do the thing for... Okay. Yeah, serial number 45556. 45556. Hi. 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 Merrick? Yes, ma'am. 41, Kelly called because of this situation, because of this road and sidewalk closure. How is a first responder supposed to get through here? These walls, the fake walls, and the uh, blockades and the cement planters that are preventing, like, first responders from entering the road is a big deal. There's no bloody permit for this. It's at the event. There's no event happening. The, it's a public road. They're blocking the sidewalk. They're blocking the road. There's nothing online that shows us. There's nothing posted. This is and for the record, if you guys don't step in and help make show them that they're operating illegally, the public is going to put it in their hands. That means the public's going to start touching their property. And that's going to be not cool for the public. But the public has a right for access to the public road. And now things are getting interesting because a new strategy is emerging. The question is, who owns L. Ron Hubbard Way? But, so do you know who owns this road? The public owns the road. No, they don't. So, no, they so don't like own the road. That's the road. exactly what he said. The road does not belong to the public. Who owns the road, ma'am? And also, we just came, came back from meeting with security for Scientology. Interesting. He's just come from a meeting with Scientology security. For Scientology? Which one? They, they, have, a, they have a permit to, for full road closure until the 23rd at 11 p.m. Can we, we see the, the permit? permit? I saw the permit. You saw the road closure for Correct. Ron Hubbard. Correct. Mm -hmm. Not Sunset. That's not closure. Not Catalina. We, we, we drove on Sunset right now. Right, right, right. You saw a permit that shows that Ron Hubbard is legally permitted for an event. Mm -hmm. Correct. No, Locked that's the other problem is what you saw was a piece of paper printed. I mean, that's, that's your opinion. But that's not an opinion. That's a fact. You have seen a piece of paper, but not the published permit from the city. I'm warning you, this conversation is a headache. These officers are literally not helpful. And the fact that they had a prior meeting with Scientology security speaks volumes all as usual in scientology fantasy land opinion but we saw we saw the permit yeah yeah but you saw the permit with the permit numbers but did yeah. were you able so what, to what call so and, what, 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 and what would you describe what would you describe as a real permit uh, something validated by the city so that was validated by the city how so if you don't valid. i'm there's not being confrontational there's a, there's, a, there's a permit number and everything yeah i know but how do we know that they didn't just uh use some white out i'm I joking mean, any, but any, anybody can do that right you know? so how do but we find case, out we verify that and you we, verified so, with we'll, the city? Yes. It's and here we are. The first lie, because he didn't verify it with the city. He later claims that his sergeant verified it and that he had confirmation from him, which is also a lie. Fortunately, Kelly doesn't let up. It's permitted. You called full, this? Full permitted. They had what, from the 16th? Or, 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 no, we know. 16 to the 23rd. So 16, yeah, right. The 23rd. Here's right. the problem. That is not available okay. to the public. Okay. It's not posted. It's not available on the city website. So would you please do the public a favor and show us the permit? Well, that's up to them if they want to disclose that to you. So we just have to believe that they didn't make something up in a Word document and show it to you. Because, yeah, they might have a permit, but what if it... Oh, sorry, dude. What if it's not actually for Ron Hubbard? Because the last officer I spoke with, the female, and I have her name, she said, you guys will call the city and verify. Okay, our supervisors at our station are fully aware of the permits, and they verify that with our supervisors who advise us. Here we are. The supervisor of the station are fully aware about the permit, and they verified this with our supervisors, and they advise us. He has just contradicted himself with his previous statements that he has verified it. I believe you saw it. What yeah. I'm, what I'm skeptical. putting... Damn, he doesn't let her say two words without interrupting Kelly. 
That's how you can silence someone you don't want to listen to. Of their paperwork Correct. they're showing. That's right. I'm skeptical. That's fine. Yeah, because they've lied before opinion, many fine. times. That's totally fine, well, it's an educated opinion. It's, educated, it's happened a lot. Skeptical. It's fine. Everyone's skeptical. They have their own opinions about everything. It's well, yeah. Okay. So we are you telling me that the officer that I spoke with before that said you would call the city and ver validate the permit? Our was supervisors was, and everybody does that as well. Yes. But she said that you guys would if that's why I called you. She said this is what I was supposed to do. Yeah. So can you call the city and validate? Because they're going to be closed in like 20 minutes. So we don't do that right on the Oh, spot, it's so. five. Well, she said you would. I don't know who's up. Who well, I'm not going to throw her under the bus. Well, that's fine. You can. Is it a surprise that he doesn't want to call the city? This is a public road. Show us the permit that they're legally allowed to block it with. You want to see this? You've seen I, I've them, seen right? I've, I walked through right now. Right. And I, I spoke to security. Well, I they're not going to. The well. yeah. He was first at Scientology to get instructions. Then he comes to the protesters with new bullshit. After much back and forth and a lot of persuasion from Kelly, she was able to get the officers to look at the blockage and the problem with it. It was literally like pulling teeth to get them to take a few steps to look at the blockage. Anyone with common sense and a pair of healthy eyes can see that no car can drive through this barrier. I wonder if common sense is being trained out of the LAPD. But you also said firemen and police, so right now... We can't get through it. You move past that. that way. You move past that. Well, that way, where? Are you going to... No, that's impossible. Now. Driving a car? Yeah, driving you know a car. You go, you're going to run you it driven, through? Yeah, you're a car yeah, yeah, I have a license. Right Probably a better driver than you, too. And then from here, where are you going to go to? Are you going to run this shit or what? Where, where, where? Where are you going to go from here? Let me see. If I absolutely have to, I'd have to go through. So what, the car has freaking jet, jets that could go over it or what? You ever go through a freaking... What kind of car are you driving? Can I have one? Just the one that rose. What are you going to do from here? If you're trying to go to Sunset... Is there anything else that we can do? A car can't be driven here. That's a fact. No, I'm, I'm looking at what you're... You wanted me to look at you, you, want, you wanted to know if the... Oh. You want to I can see the sidewalks from here. I can put. Well, go walk. Oh, okay. Walk to the other side. I like to put you in a walk. Where does the car go through? I want to know. Where does the car go through? Is there anything else we can do? Oh, name and badge numbers. You're saying the permit says that the sidewalks. Can we get a supervisor? Yes. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you need to. Uh, what's your name and serial number? My name's Officer Merrick from 1671. Actually, that's good. You said the supervisor is the one that approved the permit and said it was legit. Out of your hands, the supervisor does it. Great. Let's, yeah, please. Thank you. I, we could have done that 20 minutes ago. Uh, pardon me. I didn't okay. think so. All right, ma'am. Ma'am, how are you going to say you could get a car through there? Are you. Hey, we'll, we'll just stand by. We'll, you guys are waiting for a supervisor. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. We are. We'll stand by. We'll, we'll <laughs> wait okay. until the supervisor. Why, 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 complain, why, why, man. Well, you're not communicating <laughs> oh. the way I'm used. You guys just said. So, man, so while, we, while we wait for a supervisor, we're going to stand by our car, okay? Yeah, that's beautiful. And it's also right that Chris wants to file a complaint. It's madness what they're doing. To me, it looks like selective enforcement again in favor of Scientology. The officer were previously with Scientology, got new insane arguments, one of them lied and now their minds are switched off, and they argue that the L. Ron Hubbard way is not public. Unfortunately, the supervisor who is about to arrive is no better, because this is the breakfast cop who's already been taken apart by selfless self for not having a clue. You might enjoy watching this video. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be Yeah, you have, but I'm, pretty, I'm really pissed. A, a lie that he said that a car was able to move through and that is not true. So well, those like barricades are movable. If in an emergency, not, it would be possible. Oh, sorry, but not the ones behind. There's okay. more. All right. Bases. So There's they can move the forklift. After that. As long as a fire truck would be willing to wait for a forklift. Okay. So I'd like to follow a complaint for that. Okay, I, that's, 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 what do you mean, Paul, and to what? For him, for... What is he doing with his finger? Is he six? The sergeant looks very insecure to me. Too much bullshit can have that effect. He said that a car was able to flow through. And, and a fire truck. And a, and fire, a truck. fire truck. Which is not true. Okay, so you, you, you would like me to take a personal complaint against this officer? Yeah. Because his opinion differs from yours. It's a, not an opinion, it's a fact. Okay. All right, do you have your driver's license? Yes. Right. So. They're cement. They have forklift spaces, so 
they can move the forklift. As long as a fire truck would be willing to wait for a forklift. Okay. So I'd like to follow a complaint for that. Okay. I that's 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 what do you mean follow a complaint for that? For him, for not using common sense on the ground. <laughs> he said that a car was able to go through. And a fire truck. And a and fire a truck. Fire truck. Not true. Okay, so you 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 would like me to take a personal complaint against this officer? Yeah, because his opinion differs from yours. It's a, not an opinion; vehicle. it's a fact. Okay. All right. You have your driver's license? Yes. yes. Not at all. Okay. Can I can I, can I inquire? Because I'm I'm just curious. I have an inquisitive mind. What is? I do inquiry what is, too. What is the the beef? I guess or the the purpose of all this activity with with Scientology? And I don't care one way or the other. I'm just curious. I want to understand the problem. I have to give him that point. If he's really interested in why the protesters are protesting, good for him. Because I think sometimes when organizations have a boatload of money and control and property, illegal activity and abuse, specifically in this case, child abuse, is um, not the first thing people see because they have the power to cover it up. Cover it up. Yeah. So, and they have lawyers and such, and they put and they have fear tactics. And that guy right there put out a restraining order on somebody that was so false, it's ridiculous. And the judge was probably, and I think they we've discovered the judge that signed off on the false restraining order is the Scientologist. So this is what we're dealing with. But I'm out here because of the child abuse that happened and is happening now. And so I consider it um, my duty as a citizen to come educate the community and the people about the abuses. Because I think that just like, as we know, move, social movements start with people communicating and talking about it and bringing it to the light. And then we can take it to the courts and the justice system. People can be held accountable. Laws can be changed. Tax exempt statuses can be removed. But until people start showing up, speaking about it and not hiding it and allowing power and money to and corruption to cover it up, We'll just keep streaming till people give a fuck about the children that were severely sexually abused and continue so. And they don't believe in child psychology. They don't believe in psychology. If you don't believe in child development, how are you gonna appropriately respond to a child that's behaving like a child? So they're being treated horrendous. It's like an institutionalized abuse of corrupt controlling. That, how many uh, CPS calls do they file? None. They don't use CPS. They keep it internal. How many police reports do you get for DV? None. They take, they do it re internal. Getting how many people are they turning over that are pedophiles? None. They handle it internally. And you know what that means? They protect it, cover it up, and keep them in. They they don't they don't they don't. Much, so much it's like right. I really hate it when people try to legitimize catastrophic crimes committed by one group by claiming that another group is doing the same. There is no explanation, no apology, no argument that can cast child abuse in any other light than what it is. It is one of the worst crimes. Scientology, at its core, has created a structure that allows criminal acts to be committed against children without ever being prosecuted. This is the breeding ground for the unthinkable. But now you're educated on why we're here and also this gentleman told me that you are the person to speak to that validated the permit, that told him it was valid. Hey, the first one to flinch has failed. I think he knows the officer lied. Another reason why Officer Merrick should get another complaint. Because he said, I can't validate the permit. We have supervisors that do that. And I spoke with another officer last week and she said, no, we can do that. We call the city. Um, so how do we find out if it's valid? I hear you show up. He once said that the um, road is owned by the church. I could be wrong, but I do believe it is. I believe it's a private street, but I could be wrong. Okay. But the public. fact that he said it, mm -hmm. it's factual. It's, well, it's, it's kind of common knowledge. So he has no idea what he's talking about. Breakfast cop? He believes the road is private? Then why all the permits from the city? That makes no sense at all. This is obviously Scientology's new tactic, claiming it's a private street. Ridiculous. Thankfully, Kelly doesn't let him off the hook. But you guys are enforcing we things that you don't even know if it's true or not. You're literally saying you could be wrong. 
I'm, I'm, I'm saying I might be wrong that, that they own that street. But they're I, telling us. I've always yeah. been led to believe. That I we know. We would have been trespassed there. We would have so. been trespassed. From yeah, there. oh yeah, we would have been trespassed. So hardcore. it's impossible for it to be um, private because we would have uh, been trespassed. You know, the critics. Okay, be, but the point the is you're enforcing something and not day. knowing a 100%. Well, so that's if, tricky. If, if they, if, if my officers have led me to believe, if they've told me the truth, they have a permit, which means somewhere way above me your officers said there was a permit but they said to validate that it was true that you had already done it and unfortunately for them they, they, they said did. it on tape no, they they have a valid permit no because you validated it that's what they told me well no 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 i never physically saw it and validated it my station is personally aware that this is going on yeah but who's validating that, have... that the permits per agreed and paid for and approved by the city well when my lieutenants He's, I'm and, in the inquirer yeah, too. When my lieutenants and my captains are saying, you know, hey, give extra patrol here, they have a permit, this is what's going on. I take it on their word that it's been approved and it's valid. Will it go on like this forever? The next higher supervisor is the one who verified it, and if it's not him, then it's the next one. Practically nobody takes responsibility, and the LAPD enforces something that is based on hot air. And if you would take a wander and look at what I'm talking about, it'd be a lot easier to discuss. But since you're saying you saw the permit, I need to know that, oh no, you didn't see I the permit. No, you no, never I saw it. Say, I haven't seen it. But, my but that was the reason Kelly wanted to see the supervisor in the first place. Officer Merrick said the supervisor knows the permit. Actually, that's good. You said the supervisor is the one that approved the permit and said it was legit. Out of your hands, the supervisor doesn't. Great. Let's, yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, we could have done that 20 minutes ago. Uh, pardon me. I didn't okay. think so. I remember. Your people above has agreed. Okay. So I take it on their word that okay. obviously it must be valid. Obviously it has to be valid. I think we've heard enough nonsense. Thanks for nothing but more confusion and lots of questions that need to be clarified with the city.